I was very impressed at the beginning uh, when the results of the competition were uh, have been published um, by the solution, the urban solution to put the learning center in the center of the urbanistic chaotic dispositive of the EPFL. It uh, was able to resolve old problems of um, of clarity and fluidity in the campus. It became the ref reference special center of all the campus of EPFL, but even of the university campus that is close to EP EPFLs. The second interesting thing, important decision of the architects, was to put all the program on the ground floor. In that way, they allowed to feel people um, able to enter the building on all the possible entrances. When you have a tower, for example, you can go on the ground floor, but after you feel uh, embarrassed and not force, uh, not able to to climb the 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 stairs to go upstairs, and that way all the building is. Um, uh, offer an hospitality to everybody, not only people from EPFL, but the uh, general public. And it was one the, the, of the, the goals of that uh, important uh, uh, enterprise. Then uh, the decision to make undulations, that uh, is that not every part of the building is on the uh, same altitude, but some parts are higher and some uh, down, uh, could um, uh, offer the possibility, the, the un uh, unprevisible possibility to avoid uh, walls. Because when you are in one part, on, on hill, you feel in a special space, different from the uh, all, all other spaces that you see, but where you aren't. And the reference, the architectural reference of Sana, could have been the Katsura Villa, imperial villa of the uh, 16th century, um, that is a villa in a park with five T uh, b small buildings. Uh, the emperor could stay in his uh, house and see without being there all the little pavilions. And across uh, water, water pieces, hills, and the element, natural element of the parks. And you have the same in the Rolex Le Learning Center. You have, uh, you, you can see through uh, open spaces, natural spaces, you have the feeling of the intern and the extern together. And also you can see the mountains and the lake. That is especially interesting in Lausanne. The the problem with that project is there was a mistake, a sort of mistake in the structural uh, thinking of uh, the building. An engineer has have to think about it uh, in terms of bridges structures. Um, so it was necessary to, to change and to discuss with architects to have a special geometry that allows to, to build a series of bridges that could be um, uh, bent together. And it's not uh, a special um, uh, new thing to do, but it never had been 
made before in such condition, in such size and in such uh, uh, bigness. And so uh, the engineers have to invent all the way production ways to achieve the building. I would not say that the building is revolutionary, but I think it offers very new feelings of space. That is certain, certainly uh, not seen before. We had no example to follow. Um, but we use concrete, we use steel, and uh, you only had to, to find the, the good concrete uh, re uh, receipt uh, to allow to put the concrete without that it flows down. But it's not uh, a thing that uh, engineers uh, were not able to do. Um, and it's an experimental building because it offers a uh, new wave, new, new waves to, to, to be in there, to, to mix different, very different activities, such li library, auditorium, uh, restaurant, and so on. And people freely traveling in it. And what is interesting that the difference of altitude could help that the noise is not invading all the space of the building. And that's very old um, character of, uh, of uh, architecture. When you, you have difference, you, you have wave, we know that the sound is uh, impeached to, 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 uh, to travel. And the same with the atmosphere. The difference of altitude makes a natural flow of air, of uh, hot air is going on the top naturally, and it makes the, the natural waving of the air that gives a, a very good feeling in there and helped to uh, minimize the heating processes.